Hey, what's going on YouTube? I am that realtor, Xavier, and I'm back at it again with another video. Now today's topic is how to build your credit score in just four steps, all right? So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before we get into the video, I need to stress how important it is to have a good credit score and to have a higher credit score. Having a higher credit score can be the difference between you having a place to live and not having a place to live, between you having business credit and no business credit. And that's for all my investors out there. If you're looking to get investment properties or invest into multifamilies or apartment complexes, it is super important to have a good credit score. That is like the absolute first step. So that way you can get approved for higher business loans and then make sure that you can leverage the bank to invest in properties that can give you passive income and passive income equals you having more time and the richest person is the one who has the most time that is a fact because when you have more time you have more time to enjoy your family enjoy your hobbies and enjoy doing the things that you love to do because i know you don't want to work forever you don't want to work all the damn time you want to have time for yourself and your family and to really gather your thoughts instead of just always working 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 for your time now without further ado let's get into the first step now the first step you want to have at least four different accounts open two of them will be long-term accounts like auto loans or student loans and the other two will be short-term accounts like credit cards for example and the importance of having those four accounts open is to build your credit and to show a credit history and the second step will be to call each of your credit cards and identify the statement date, not the due date. There's a difference. So the due date is the day that the actual payment is due. And usually they'll require at least a minimum payment. But the statement date, that is the statement closing date. That is the date that they report whatever the balance is to the credit bureau. And that leads me on to step three. So make sure at least three days prior to your statement date that your balance is under 10%. You want to make sure it's three days before so that the payment can go through, the payment can process, and that it's under 10%. So for example, if you have a credit card that the limit is $500, you want to make sure three days before the statement date, it's at least $50 or lower than that. So that way, when they report it to the credit bureau, they are reporting that you're under 10% of that credit limit, which shows that you're paying on time, you're paying it below what it needs to be, which it will increase your score. And now the last thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you're keeping track of your credit with the MyFICO app or the Experian app. And make sure that you have exactly zero, and I said zero, late payments, zero derogatory marks, and zero collections. And make sure you stay consistent with that for at least three to four years. Now it has to be like at least three to four years because building wealth takes time. It's not a get rich quick scheme. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna have an 800 credit score by 30 days. Like, no, this takes time and it is worth it to take that time to build your credit because in the long run, when you're investing in long-term investments, it's going to be in your favor because at the end of the day, once you start the next generation, let's say you have kids or let's say you have people you wanna pass the money down to, it all starts with your credit. Once you build your credit, you have a long-standing credit history with credit bureaus and credit cards and long-term payments with auto loans and student loans that is going to show that you are a responsible adult that you're paying on time that you have zero remarks and zero late payments and i get it things happen right sometimes you're going to have a late payment sometimes you're going to have a collection sometimes you're going to have a derogatory mark and don't worry it's not the be all end all if that happens lord knows i've had collections i've had stuff on my credit report but i'm still building it to this day and the way to combat that is, look, once you can, pay off that collection. Pay off that collection and then pay off those loans and take your time with it and build your credit over the years, all right? So never give up, just keep going and make sure you follow those four steps. And if I missed anything or left anything out, please leave it in the comments and I'd love to interact with you guys. I'd love to like hear your feedback and everything like that. So please leave it in the comments. And if this video was helpful at, at all to you, please leave a like, subscribe, and share it to all your fellow entrepreneurs out there that's trying to build their credit. All right, now that's all my time for the day. It is That Realtor, Xavier, signing out. Have a good one, y'all.